we have to learn this language of anatomy. From now on, we are going to use it in every day in studying anatomy and even in, in your clinical life. These are the same terms that are used. So you can see here, these are the terms of relationship and comparison. So we have, for example, anterior, which is close to the, this is anterior, close to the front of the body. Sometimes you use the word ventral and opposite to it is posterior or dorsal. These words ventral and dorsal are derived from descriptions of animals, which are quadruples, and they are still used, especially in neuroanatomy. Also, you, we use the word superior and inferior toward the uh, bottom. Uh, inferior is replaced by caudal and superior is cranial. Caudal referring to the tail, coda means tail. Again, as I said, that these words are derived from the descriptions of animals and they are mostly used in neuroanatomy, but they can be also used in gross anatomy as well. We have the word medial and lateral. So medial is closer to the midline of the body and lateral is away from the midline of the body. In proximal and distal usually are used for the limbs. Like the proximal is closer to the root of the limb and distal is away from the root of the limb. For example, here, the elbow joint here is proximal to the wrist joint and the wrist joint is distal to the elbow joint. The elbow joint is distal to the shoulder joint and so on. And the same thing is true for the lower limb. The knee joint is distal to the hip joint.